We're gonna use Eclipse STS ID to develop our Spring MVC web application with Timelib. So in Eclipse ID, go to the file, new, and then choose Spring Starter Project. So this is a Spring Initializer website which is integrated in Eclipse STS ID to quickly create Spring Boot projects. Alright, so let's give a name to the project and keep type as a Marvin and packaging jar in Java version 8 language Java and group ID net.java guides and artifact ID is going to be our project name and description and then package. Alright, once you are happy with the details, click next and here we're gonna choose Spring Boot Starter Dependencies. So we are going to develop Spring MSU controllers. For that we are going to use Spring Web Starter Dependency. So we use Spring Web Starter Dependency to build web applications as well as RESTful web services. Okay. And Spring Web Starter Dependency internal uses Spring MSU libraries along with that Apache Tomcat as a default embedded container. And we can also use timelib right so let's choose timelib uh, starter dependency so these are the two dependencies are enough to create our simple spring msc web application and hit finish all right so look at here a uh, spring boot project is created all right now let's quickly create a spring msc controller so go to the package here main package right click on package new and then choose class and let's name this class as hello world controller all right and let's make this class as a spring image controller by annotating at the rate controller annotation and let's quickly create a handler method which will just return a time lift template let's give a method name as hello and this returns a timelib template called hello world okay great and let's annotate this handler method with either it get mapping annotation so this will basically handle http get request and let's give a request url as hello now we're gonna return some data to the view right for that we're gonna use a model here and we we'll simply add some data to the model let's use add attribute add attribute method and here just do key as message and value as something like hello world okay so this is our simple uh, method handler okay so it returns a hello world timelip template and this timelip template we're gonna create right now Alright, let's right click on templates folder, new and then choose file that is HTML file and let's call it as hello world.html. Alright guys, so this is our timelip template. Let's go ahead and let's design it. Let's replace title with let's add timelip hello world app and now we simply print a message that we have added to the model okay we simply print this message in a html page so in order to access this message we're gonna use timelip expression okay so let me copy this message key and we're gonna use this key in a html page using timelip expression so here i will use h1 tag and inside that th colon text and look at here the syntax let me give some text here time leap space pause and this is the time leap variable expression to access java variables and then plus and here i say app okay so this prints time leap hello world app all right let's quickly run spring project and let us see how it works Now let's open a browser and let's access a uh, hello world a template page in a browser just type localhost 8080 slash 
hello and hit enter so look at here timelip hello world app so hello world is basically a model data that we have printed on a html page using timelip expression